Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a quick video for you today about how I cable manage this setup. So if you didn't see my last video, I got this brand new desk from FlexiSpot. This is the E7B and it's a pretty big upgrade to what I had before. Now, as much as I love standing desks, one of the worst things about them is trying to cable manage them. Since it's literally just legs and a pretty thin desktop, it really makes it tricky to hide cables under it. Now you're going to see a couple cables here and there. It's not a totally perfect setup, but for me, I don't really mind a couple cables hanging out. As long as I can get the bulk of it kind of tidy and hidden behind the desk, I'm happy with that. So over the years, I've kind of developed a list of products that I buy off of Amazon that are very cheap and very easy to install to clean up the desk setup a little bit. The very first step here is to figure out where I want my power to run. I want to power everything that is on the desk by a single surge protector under the desk so that I can run a single cable down the leg and into the wall. To do this, I use a monster power strip that I've had for years. This thing works great. I take two of these Velcro strips, cut it in half and place them on the bottom of the surge protector. And then I run it under the desk so that the power cord is sticking out of the side and can run directly down the left desk leg. Once I have that set, it's time to start hiding cables. For the bulk of my cable management, I use these plastic tracks that I found on Amazon. They're incredibly cheap and they just adhere to the bottom of the desk and you run all of your cables through this thin track. Using the double-sided tape that it comes with, I place these on the underside of the desk with the opening facing the back of the desk. I also like to leave a little bit of a gap in between each track so that way I can move cables around a little bit easier, especially if one cable needs to go to the left side of the desk and the other needs to go to the right. I also used one of these tracks down the left side of the leg. That way I can neatly run the power cables coming from my surge protector down the leg and to the back where my battery backup is. These plastic trays are perfect if you have a simple setup with not many cables, but if you're running a larger desk setup like I have here, you may have a lot of excess power cables and adapters running under here that you need to hide. These cable trays from Vivo are an awesome way to hide any extra mess under your desk. By placing these trays in front of the plastic trays that I use, I can hide all of the extra cables and power adapters that won't fit into the small plastic tray. And since the colors match pretty much perfectly with the legs, it just kind of looks like it's a piece of the desk. Before I continue with this video, I wanted to give FlexiSpot a huge shout out for sending me this desk. This is their E7 Pro Plus standing desk with a 71 inch by 35 inch dark bamboo top. I had been needing a deeper desk for a while, so that extra 10 inches that I was able to add to this setup has been very helpful for fitting all of the accessories that are on my desk. One of their biggest selling features for this desk is that it's ready to hold 355 pounds, which is pretty insane if you think about it. These legs are incredibly sturdy. I found this out the second I picked up the box when it got delivered. They're much heavier than any other standing desk leg that I've ever used before. The desk legs offer a minimum height of 22.8 inches and a maximum height of 48.4 inches. The remote itself features four programmable buttons, and it also has a child lock, which is very convenient for when you don't want this desk to move. If you're interested in checking out this desk for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description with all of the info there. Once again, thank you FlexiSpot for sending me this desk to use for my YouTube videos. Now let's get back into this cable management. Now that I have all of the cables running through the tracks, it's time to tidy up some of the odds and ends. I start by using these adhesive cable clips. For cables that have to run along the desk, like the desk controller, the motor cables, and any other cables that I can't run through the cable tracks. Next, I use these Velcro cable straps to tidy up things like the cables running to the monitor, as well as any of the cables running under the desk that may be sticking out. Another solution for this is using cable sleeves. Now I use both these and the Velcro straps kind of hand in hand, depending on what fits better in the area that I'm trying to cable manage. But these Velcro sleeves work really well to join two to three cables together so that it looks much more seamless. And there it is, my fully cable managed new desk setup. Now this may not work for you or you may not like some of the things that I used here. This is just my preference and what works for me. And I think it works out pretty well for what I'm trying to achieve here. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description to all of these items here so you can pick them up for yourself. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, say hello in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.